Why, hello. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Willette Davis. I am the founder creator of Fat Girl Fitness Plan. And this month, we're going to talk about the importance of little wins. I know sometimes when we get set on our plan and we have a focus, we think that it's going to happen from A to Z with no interruptions, no obstacles, no problems. And, you know, life happens and we find that we have to reset, refocus and start again. So we want to talk about the importance of little wins that help keep us on track, help keep our focus and help kind of set the stage for our journey that's about to happen. So in that vein, I want to talk about a couple of things, how easy it is to get frustrated. And I mentioned earlier that life gets in the way, but it's important to understand that we still have the ability to be successful, especially if we refocus and focus on little wins. Now, what exactly do I mean by little wins? I mean, breaking the goal down into the smallest possible element and focusing on that piece versus focusing on the whole journey. Let's just focus on that first, all important first step. Now, it's important to understand that you are worthy of your best effort. You're worthy of your best health and you are worthy of your best life. And you have to start there because what you believe is what you will achieve. All right. So we're going to start with nutrition and breaking it down into little wins. I want you to start with that first meal. You can pick either one, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. But in addition to breaking it down, you want to start at some quality sources. And I've looked at some places on the internet, and this is some things that I've found. Like, say you want to start with a meal. Here are some common, easy to use, easy to incorporate ideas of how to make a meal that is a good starting place. You know, some of these things are easy to source, easy to have in your pantry, your refrigerator, and you can just start there. And don't start with the whole meal for the day. Just start with, say, a breakfast or a lunch or a snack. And here are some ideas that you can use that will start you on your way of starting small. And then once you get that mastered, say you know your five ideas of what you want to have for breakfast, then you can move on to your five ideas of what you want to have for the next meal. Now we're going to apply that same idea to exercise. And what I mean by that is do what you can as you can. Some of these exercises can be kind of hardcore, but do what you can. Like for instance, if you can only really do the warm up, then just repeat the warm up over and over again until you get stronger. And then you can add more of the workout. Now, a lot of people think that weight loss and fitness and this kind of thing is only just diet and exercise, but that's not true. It really is the mindset. And so what I want you to do is understand that you have to be patient with yourself because you're becoming a better version of yourself and you want to use affirmations and things to help you visualize and focus on what you're trying to do. Think of these things that I've included. In a couple of years, it won't matter how long it took. You'll just be glad that you did it. And here's another thing that helps you increase your dopamine. That is the feel-good emotion, feel-good hormone. Get a good night's sleep. Move your body. Eat nourishing food. Focus on your passion. These are things that will help keep you focused in addition to the nutrition and the exercise. Be patient, avoid quick fixes, and remember how important that you are, that you are worth the effort. So start small, but keep going. FatGirlFitnessPlan.com is proud to sponsor this message. FatGirlFitnessPlan.com is a low-impact fitness system that is designed to take you from the couch to the gym. And it was specifically developed for women who were overweight, overwhelmed, and overworked. Please click the link for more information.